Hey guys and welcome to another review. This is, well it's kind of like an overview. I think I'm going to call it an overview. Um, this is an overview of the Sims 4 get together um, build and buy objects. So I'm going to just go through quickly and show you all of the bathrooms that come set up with um, or, well, the bathrooms, oh good lord. Um, the rooms, this happens to be a bathroom, that come set up with the pre-made room system. So we have this bathroom, we have kind of this cool, like, looks like a DJ room maybe, a little more of a preppy room, um, very traditional study or living room, very traditional dining room, a DJ kind of like outdoor rave setup, a very fancy indoor like club setup. Uh, this looks like a legit like game room. Looks like we have some new arcade stuff. That's kind of cool. Uh, like cafe bar with the espresso machine. And finally we have a traditional like looking pub. So those are all the pre-made rooms. I'm going to go ahead and set out some objects and we'll get started. So the one of the first things that I noticed was we get a lot of new like roof toppers. So these are the things like the chimney or this little, I don't even know what this is called, a uh, royal pointed roof and like these little storm, this is like a wind storm teller thingy. What are those? Sorry, it, it's like the thing that spins and it tells you which way the wind is blowing. A little flag and just some new chimney stuff, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so here are a few of the wall selections. I have some of the tiled, kind of like mosaic-y looking walls. Pretty cool, lots of different colors. These are only a selection of the few. Then we have quite a few different woods, uh, different colors, and some brick, which I don't know for certain what that comes in then we have like these ones which you can kind of combine to make your own design like you could take well here let's um, I think it's this one maybe I don't know basically they all come in the same colors and see so you kind of combine it to make it look like whatever you want there's this one and they there's a bunch of different colors too kind of goes with that and you can do it this is very much that like European looking um, design that everybody's been talking about as far as the game goes so that is definitely like a big influence there just trying to show you all the different ones I'm not gonna get caught up on the color then we have some of the brick it looks like it's pretty much the same style lots of different bricks I like the different woods. I remember we used to have that a lot in Sims 2 or Sims 1. I don't know. It's been a been a minute for me. So there are all of the new wall options in that category. Then we have this nice stone. And that is it. That is all of the wall options. All right. As far as flooring goes, we have that same mosaic-y tile here. And then these ones you can actually... Um, take it and it'll make a pattern so there's all different colors so like once you pull it out it kind of makes a pattern we have this one which is like lots of pebbles so I thought that that was kind of cool we have a lot of nice new stones they're very very nice stone um, this kind of nice again it's like a stone but this is kind of more like a brick pattern um, take off the grid so you can see more of like a, a brick pattern let me show you the stone without it isn't that pretty? Ugh, so beautiful. And then like this nice kind of bricky pattern, but it's not got the like texture to the stone. It's more concrete. And then we have this kind of like cobblestone looking, like older street kind of um, flooring. So there's that. Next, we have a couple of new foundations. We have this brick, this uh, brick one that comes with like a different color wood on the top, but the same color brick. And then we have this brick one, which is more like natural stones, whereas these look like more exact bricks. So that's pretty cool. All right, next we have windows. We have some of these more traditional style windows, um, 
like an old castle looking window. These little more like they're not modern but they're new. This is definitely a modern window. Pretty cool. Um, and these these are just good like classic windows. And then we have this guy which I just think is so cool looking. And I also really like the shutters on this one. So there are all the new windows. And they do come in other colors. I just laid down the colors that they came with. So you can get this one like with or without the colored glass. That one's pretty. So yeah, lots of different window colors. Um, let's check out this one right here. Well, that's kind of cool. And then this guy... Yeah, so give you an idea of the windows you get. So I wanted to mention that there are also these windows that I couldn't view before because I needed a taller wall height. So we have this one, um, some, oh, that one's tinted, so that's pretty cool. Some little bar windows, this one's very industrial, and then we have a very classic kind of cut out um, bay window, like that's a legit bay window. I almost wonder if Sims can sit in this, actually. Hold on. So it doesn't appear that they can. That's a bummer. Because that would have been really cool. But that's okay. And there's a couple more. Let me get them up. We have this one. This one. Oh, that one's really cool too. That one. We have this one. Oh, wait. Never mind. Nope, we don't have that one. That's my bad. We have this one, though. And then I think that might be from, that's from Git to work. Some of these were locked. I just unlocked them. So if I give you, like, show you some from Git to work, my apologies. Um, but yeah, these are, like, tinted, too. So that's pretty cool. All right, next we have Git. Uh, oh, my God, of course they're Git together. That's what we're reviewing. Um, we have the small doors from get together we have uh this one which you can't change once it's actually up but it comes in lots of different colors that's pretty cool we have this nice door that will make a really nice front door um then we have these more traditional like calf castle doors very spooky um just a nice plain door and then this door which you can actually uh it's like a clubhouse door. So these are all the different clubhouse designs and you can lock Sims out of your club. If they're not in your club, they can't get in. So pretty cool stuff. As far as the medium height doors, this is what we're working with. I actually really like all of them, but um, I like this one quite a bit. It's really nice. I like the, like you can really see it there, like the texture of the wood very nice this is really cool so lots of good build stuff so far i'm really impressed and then there are no large doors as far as designs that you put on the wall we have this guy this one this little um plant this hanging plant that's really pretty that is really pretty i like that oh my god that is amazing do you realize how much I loved putting Ivy on buildings when I played, I don't even remember what Sim it was, like what Sims game, but I loved putting the Ivy on the buildings and it's so hard to try to recreate that in The Sims 4 and now you can. Like these are flowers, but look at that. Ivy, that is so awesome. Lots of new build potential here. We have, um... That's kind of cool. It's, is that a pipe? It is a pipe. Pretty neat. Uh, we got different heights of pipe, it looks like. Very cool stuff. We have this adorable little planter box. Oh, this is that, um, I don't know. This is an awning that you can use. You can use it for a lot of things. I've seen people do, like, um... Maybe they actually use something else, but I think they use like this to make flooring and stuff. So that is super cool stuff. Uh, we have this, which is awesome. You just tuck a little window or a door in there. We have this one, which is again, really awesome. It looks like it's for shops. 
that is adorable. It has like a little table on top. Like you could set something up there, I think. I just want to set something up there. I don't want to like look at the other stuff though. I don't want to spoil it. Can you set something up there? Maybe you can't. Hmm. I thought that you could. I don't know. Don't listen. Well, I mean, do listen to me, but take what I say with a grain of salt because apparently, I don't know. Where was I? Um, here. What does it say? Hanging Garden of Joy. Huh. I guess you could put something up there with move objects if you really wanted to. And another awning. So maybe that's just like a type of, like, you could, well, I mean, you could use it as kind of an awning. I don't know. Nonetheless, it's cool, and I'm sure I will find some use for it. Next, we have the, um, let me delete this. We have the columns, which we have this, just a nice, simple column. We have a nice stone column. We have another simple, this one actually is even more simple. This has a little bit of a design on it. We have this one, the same one but round. I actually really like that one. And then as simple as you could be with a column. And then we have one of these. Can we, can you not connect it with another column? I thought you could. I think it has to be a wall to a column. Let's see. Or maybe I don't have auto on. What the heck? Oh, there we go. I knew it was something to do with the wall. So we have a new one of these that just matches the new column. So very cool stuff. We have a few new bushes. I think that these are the bushes you can pee on. Let's go ahead and check that out. It is nighttime, so forgive me. Oh, they can woohoo. Well, let's fertilize it. I don't know if you can do it to any bush or just these big ones. That's attractive. <laughs> She's like, oh my god. He's embarrassed. Yeah, so you can't fertilize that one, only these ones. Ew, it stinks now. Um, let's have him woohoo in the one next to it, not the stinky one. That is so gross. And they can nap too. Don't go in the stinky one. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Birds came flying out. That is hilarious. Oh, she smacked him on his ass though. Like that was amazing. <laughs> so the bushes. You can get a little crazy in them apparently. That's, I know this is not like a gameplay overview but I figured I'd show you some of the stuff because it's not fun to just watch the items right gotta have a little bit of interesting stuff in here too well this is taking forever that is hilarious okay go back over here that one's smelly though that's so gross okay sell the smelly bush um we also have this guy, which I saw this in a preview too. It has lights on it. And when you switch to night mode, look at that. It actually lights up. Isn't that beautiful? That is so cool. And then that is it for plants. Uh, we have the new pool tool, which I'm sure everybody has probably seen by now, but we'll quickly go over it. Uh, we have a couple of new pool decorations. What is that? A fountain? Oh, it's a light. Oh, it's a light. Very cool. Um, these are fountains, though. Some very nice. That one has a llama. Oh, that one has, like, little cherubs on it. Very Italian, for sure. Very... Well, not even Italian, actually. They had, I went to France and they had a lot of those types of things too. So just very European. Um, and then how do I change the color? Hmm. Water emitters. 
Oh, it's under the pool tool. I was in fountains. So we have the new waters, uh, this very blue, like sparkly one. This one with like petals in it. A very brown, mucky one and green. Then we have new pool items, which I said um, before. Can I just change it like to a regular color? Mm, I guess that'll do. Um, I said before that I thought that you could use these guidelines for swimming, and I'm not sure if you can. Um, I thought that you would be able to, but when I heard some other people talk about them, I think that you can just use them for decoration. So that's a little disappointing. It doesn't look like there's any options on them. I was hoping that your sims would like swim within them. So that's a little bit of a bummer. We have some new sidings. So that's nice. Um, of course we have like new, these are drains. Um, it's like some little stones. What is that? The bubbles crack. Emit subtle bubbles. So if you put this in the bottom of your pool, it'll emit bubbles. So let's check that out. Oh, yep, there it is. Little tiny bubbles that float up into the air. And it also creates like a, a mist. So that's pretty cool. Go ahead and delete that. We also have the more natural looking diving or uh, ladder. We have, oh, this will make it warm. So this will add a hot spring. That'll probably definitely make it steam up. Yep, look at that, all that steam right there. Creates a hot spring, super cool. I'm liking all of the stuff that they did with the pools. You can definitely build some interesting stuff. Um, and then you have, of course, the diving boards and stuff. Um, I'm not gonna show that, cause I'll show that during gameplay. And these are just more of those like bubblers to the bottom of the pool. And then these are like the pool uh, decorations and stuff. So that is what you get with pools. We also have a new staircase and some new um, surprisingly siding that doesn't match it. So that's interesting. Traditional stairs, very kind of modern staircases. Uh, or was this railing? That's that's right. We have some new fences. That one has ivy on it. That's cute. Oh. We have this little short fence. This little guy. Nice stone fence. A very sleek glass fence. Another wooden one. A kind of wavy stone. That's nice. This more modern like wood with a plant on it and then we have whoop, this guy so that's pretty cool as far as gates go we have this one this one this one that one and this one oh it looks like there's one more so we'll delete this guy and this one so just skates to match the fences. All right, guys, if you are still with me, props to you. We are now moving on to the buy objects. I said I was gonna go through everything, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, we have this traditional chair, comes in lots of different colors. We have this kind of like an egg-shaped chair almost. It's definitely reminiscent of an egg chair. I don't know what it's called. The hard boiled, so yeah, or the hard boiler. We have just a nice wood chair. This, oh, it has a nice little texture on it. That chair, it's a little more modern as well, made of stone, maybe like a tad industrial. Then we have this guy, which I really like this chair. Like this right there, that color, yes. Orange and blue, are my two favorite colors together. Uh, we have some plain ones, some nice stripes, just solid colors and some different patterns. So it's a nice little chair. Another very traditional chair, 
a traditional like outdoor chair and a more modern kind of rounded back chair. So there you go, those are all the chairs. Next we have bar stools. Looks like those are the only three that we have. A more kind of typical bar stool like chair can get one with a crown on it or a shield. So this is probably for like your traditional pub. Then we have just some like OG just stools. And then we have these nice kind of modern rounded back stools. Again in that really beautiful teal. Lots of different colors. You could do just white. Here we have ottomans and couches. We have just a nice little stone ottoman. A nice wood and stone as well. Traditional looking couch very traditional bench kind of like the two-door Tudor two-door style t-u-d-o-r you know what I mean uh, very European and then we have this very traditional like outdoor bench the couch which I freaking love like this pattern in particular but there's lots of different patterns this one's quite cool too I like that swooshy detail and then we have a very traditional couch as well and then Kind of a more modern like this kind of looks like an outdoor bench but you could use it for inside i mean it's got really cool patterns Ooh, the polka dots are cute there's like lots of different i like how the um pillows some of them have different ones like if you look at this one like stripes and then blue and then yellow and then this one's like all different very cool very cool couches okay guys i am just kind of rush through this. I'm um, just trying to give you an idea to see if this is something that's right for you. I thought that this was kind of cool because it has like grass underneath of it. Um, I'll put some flooring under there so that you can see. See grass is underneath the table so that's pretty neat stuff. Um, I'm not going to go through and change all the colors but you get the gist. A little like cafe table, desk, very traditional most of the stuff but there is a little hint of modern here and there so um, that's all the surfaces like tables and stuff that you get with get together as for plumbing you get a new sink and a new bathtub these are very traditional as well these are all the different dance floors you get I think it's hilarious that there's cardboard because um, people used to like break dance on cardboard you have a checkered one which comes in plenty of different colors wood a uh, little ooh, that's really cool uh, marble which can be checkered too or it can come in different patterns or solids and then this is just to show you that there's big ones and medium ones too and then we have this one which is like clear and as you can see there is dirt underneath of it because we put it on the grass and this changes colors I'm pretty sure it lights up yes it does so there is the new dance floors here we have some DJ booths. So we have this one. Um, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I take that back. These are bars, not DJ booths. These are portable bars. So you can have one. Do, do those Christmas lights light up though? Oh my God, guys, the light up stuff is killing me. Love it. Um, so portable bars, that's pretty cool. And then there's a DJ booth set up there. A little kind of like rinky dink set up for one. We also have this dance floor, which I missed in my first run through. Very cool. Oh, that looks like lava. Does it light up? Oh my god, it lights up, guys. Seriously, though, the light up stuff. So, um, yeah. Then we have the bars. We have the very, like, new, modern looking one, the stone kind of modern one, and then the traditional pub. We have your DJ booths very modern and then a little bit nicer than that portable DJ booth we saw initially those two are uh, we have game tables we have a very pink little kid game table it's like Jenga but it has a llama on it we have a dartboard we have a pub looking style we have a foosball table we have an arcade game this is your little barista station, another barista station, um, bonfire, bonfire, then we have some, ooh, I like this plant, ooh, I like that a lot, yep, 
yep I like that um, then we have some plants getting all kinds of crazy with the plants here uh, lots of little topiaries that's cool uh, very traditional plants but a few more like modern ones that's really cool so those are all the plants I'm in love with this one this little guy is my jam right here love it then we have some posters these are like graffiti we've got uh, some DJ posters some more like preppy kind of like fashion looking posters of the original Sims uh, well I mean the original Sims and the Sims 4 a girl DJ then we have like an older poster Ooh, a cluster of posters that's pretty cool I love laying layering posters more graffiti um, we have some traditional portraits that's what that hair is from it's very traditional I get it um, then we have some nice mirrors love that mirror what is this oh it's like to help build ruins it's just like stoning stuff uh, some new signs peepers be gone uh oh you can have peepers now hmm what is this 90 degrees oh it's just a sculpture it's a 90 degree angle sculpture but you could use that to build an archway I wonder if they did that on purpose that is really cool um, a sign looks like a like to say oh this is a ruin right there don't touch it a uh, flag sign sundial more ruin stuff is that a birdhouse that's a birdhouse ooh because there were birds in the bush I wonder if birds will actually use that probably not but we can dream can't we little gardener plant thingy pretty cool ooh that's awesome I wonder if you can get married under that probably not but it's still cool that's really cool you can like put it against a building or something or even could you put it together Eh, yeah, you can but it kind of looks stupid but if you put a pole between that it probably would look good um, more ruins just some like street poles columns that are ruined stairs well that's kind of cool fireplace wood nice little umbrella sculpture bird bath ruin adorable snail ruin I better sell all this because they have no more money <laughs> all right uh, well I mean it's filled with flowers but still really cool we have a flag this looks like the top of the Louvre or not well it's not the is it the top I don't know I went to the Louvre and there's like this glass pyramid it's awesome it kind of reminds me of that um, I think you could use that for a lot of things but you could use that on the roof uh, sign for the street big glass sculpture big metal sculpture dude with a shovel uh, this is really cool you could use that and make like a driveway I saw a uh, sim supply create a glass roof out of this so that's really cool again some cool sculptures in this that's really neat it looks spiky we have some new well I was gonna say rugs but I think that's concrete but you could I mean honestly if you colored it right like that kind of looks like leather so stone um, we have oh this is like a padded rug for under the barista thing we have some very modern rugs very modern I don't know if they come in different different colors not different styles but that one's kind of cool how it's like fading out from one color to another we've got ooh a very nice fireplace I love that the woods on ooh that's nice that is nice a uh, pole with a flag on it some like bunting stuff uh, more signs good old like pub sign sign that's like a coffee cup very cute nice wall decoration nice little picture this is definitely like this is like English pub right there love it um, we have some gardening equipment that could be really neat 
pool stuff. Little shelving with like coffee pots on it. Again, nice chalkboard. Looks like for keeping score. Coffee menu. Sign, sign. New towel. Looks like little packages of tea or coffee. Little cake decoration. We have a new bar backing. There's the pub again. Some nice wall decorations. That's really nice to have. Just a nice little candle abra. This is really neat. Little lighting setup. No idea what that's supposed to be. Bright biome. I think it's just a light. I think we're in the lights now. Yep, this is a light. So we got that guy. Um, just a hanging like candle chandelier. We've got this little dome light. It comes in a few different styles. Little hexagon, that's pretty cool. Then we got your like traditional sconces. A nice light up sign, outdoor lighting. I'm just trying to go through this really quickly. I really like that street light, very modern very traditional again like outdoor kind of like rave lighting that's cool it's like a clock doesn't light up but like a clock tower or you can have like a square clock we have these are the espresso machines but I have to set them on objects uh, what is this a mailbox that is a mailbox awesome another mailbox we have outdoor trash bins books dresser that's one of the new wardrobes, so you can do lots of cool things in there, but we'll get into that into gameplay. And I believe that is everything. Is that everything? Yep, that is it, people. So, where are my sims? I... I, I don't know. This is like the worst ending ever. But yeah, I'm going to end this here. Um, if you want to see some gameplay, then watch my Let's Play videos because I'm not going to do um, a whole separate gameplay video because it's honestly just, there's so much in this game. There's so much. It's so in-depth that I really don't feel like I could do it justice by doing like a gameplay video. So I just wanted to show you guys the items that were in it and like the creative sim items. Um, I have not played it yet. Like I said, this is my first time looking at it, but just based off of what you get in it alone, like just the stuff and the new clothes and hairs, it is so worth it. And from what I heard about the clubs, it seems like a really awesome, um, it seems like a really awesome addition to The Sims. I feel like there's definitely going to be a lot more building opportunities with the things that they've given us. And the new world just looks beautiful. So I highly recommend it. If you haven't got it yet, I suggest getting it. I think it is $40 US. I'm not sure about anywhere else. Um, if you have PayPal bill me later, I know that they will take PayPal, PayPal bill me later or PayPal credit, whatever they call it, um, on Origin. So you could do that if maybe you want to get it, but like money's tight. I totally get that, but it is definitely worth it and I suggest picking it up. I'm so excited to try out the new club system and the DJ skill and dancing and I cannot wait to play. I'm super excited. So um, I will talk to you guys next time. As always, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this look at everything. Um, I know that I've seen other videos that people do and they don't show everything and I'm like, just show everything. I want to see it. So I gave you of you at everything I could possibly think to show you. So I hope you liked it and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye everyone.